Let's take a look at multiplication. Now, if you don't have access to a calculator, you're definitely gonna need a written method to work out your multiplication questions. Now, there's two ways you can do it. One is called the column method, and one is called the grid method. I'll show you both. I, if I were you, play around with both and work out which one you find easier and go with that one. I personally prefer the column method, but that could be because that was just how I was taught when I was at school. Let's look at the first example, which is 28 times 32. Now, when both digits, well, both numbers have the same number of digits, it doesn't matter which number you write on top, which one you write on the bottom. Um, I've seen people do all sorts of crazy things um, with these sorts of questions. Some people would just do a bit like adding and subtracting, just do eight times two, 16, two times three is six. So maybe they think the answer is 616, but that's uh, completely incorrect. What we need to do is, we need to start with the bottom right number, which in this case is the two. I'm gonna multiply two by eight, and then two by two. Then I'm gonna move on to the three and repeat the process. Three eights, then three twos. I like this method because all the time, the only thing you're doing is single digit multiplication. So let's go. Two times eight is 16, and again, we can't write in a double digit here. We're just gonna write in the six and carry one. So that's the two eights done. Let's have a go at the two times two, nice and easy. Two twos are four, plus that one makes it a five. Now you don't need to put the arrows in. I'm just trying to uh, reinforce what I'm doing here. Now on the next line, we are going to repeat this process using the three. But before I do that, I'm gonna put in a zero. I'll explain why in a sec. Now let's go three times eight, eight, 16, 24. So that's four carry two. Now we're gonna do three times the two, which is six plus the two makes eight. And all I'm gonna do now is add up the top line and the bottom line, ignoring any numbers I've put in that was carrying over. Six plus zero is six, five plus four is nine, eight plus nothing is eight. So the answer is 896. So. What I've done here on the top line here, this is two lots of 28. And this bottom row is 30 lots of 28. Two plus 30 is the 32. So we've just broken 32 down into two lots of 28 and 30 lots of 28. Now, if I hadn't put that zero in, I would have, I would have the answer 84, which is only three 28s. So we would have a, an, an answer that was far too low. So the reason we're putting in that zero is because this is the three of 30. Let's have a look at the next example. It's 143 multiplied by 56. Again, um, here we've got a three digit and a two digit number. I'd put the two digit number underneath so that we only have two lines of working. Otherwise you'll need three lines of working, which is what you'll see in this final example. So again, I'm gonna do six times three on the top line, followed by six fours and six ones. And on the second line, I'm gonna put in a zero and then do five threes, five fours, five ones. Let's go. Six threes are 18, eight carry one. Six fours, 24 plus one, 25, carry the two. Six times one is six plus two is eight. Now I'm gonna repeat the process with the five, but first put in a zero because this is the five of 50. Five times three is 15, five carry one. Five times four is 20, plus one is 21 one carry the two, five times one is five, plus two is seven. And it quite often happens that when you do the second line of working, you have a longer number. Well, of course that makes sense because you have put in a, a zero. In fact, it happened on the previous one as well. So don't be alarmed by that. And now let's just do the adding up. Eight plus zero is eight, five plus five, ignore that one is 10. So zero carry the one. Again, we're just adding the top and the bottom line. So maybe it's easier just to cross these off so we don't get confused. Eight plus one plus one is 10, zero carry one. Seven plus one is eight. So the answer is 8,008. Let's look at this final example. Here we've got two triple digit numbers. Um, so it doesn't matter which one we put on top and which one we put on the bottom because they both have three digits. So two, one, three, I'm gonna put on top and one, five, six underneath. So we're gonna repeat the same process. So six threes, six ones, six times two on the top line. Then on the second line, we're gonna put in a zero and do five threes, five ones, and five twos. And we put in the zero because it's the five of 50. 
and on the third row we're going to put in two zeros because this is the one of 100 before doing 1 times 3, 1 times 1, 1 times 2. So let's go. Six threes are 18, 8 carry 1. Six ones are 6, plus 1 is 7. 6 times 2 is 12. Put in the zero because this is the 5 of 50. Five threes are 15, 5 carry 1. Five ones are 5, plus 1 is 6. Two fives are 10. Now let's put in two zeros on the third line because this is the one of 100. One times three is three. One one is one and one two is two. And now we're adding up three lines here. So eight plus zero plus zero is eight. Seven plus five is 12, two carry the one. Two plus six is eight. Plus three is 11, plus one is 12, carry one. One plus zero plus one plus one is three. One plus two is three. So the answer is 33,228. Now let's take a look at the grid method. So what I'm gonna do with 34 is I'm gonna break it down into a 30 and a four. And the 29, I'm gonna break that down to a 20 and a nine. So I'm gonna do a little grid here. So 30, four, 20, nine. So you don't really have to draw in all these lines if you don't want to. Now, all we need to do is multiply all of these combinations and then do one big, big bit of adding at the end. Now, there's one, one reason why I tend not to teach this method is because a lot of people get this very first calculation wrong, the one here, 20 times 30. Two times three is six. We've ignored two zeros, so we need to put two zeros back, so that is 600. Um, so many people just give me the answer 60 there or maybe 6,000. Th this part often goes wrong. 4 times 20 is 80. 30 times 9, well, 3 nines are 27. So 30 times 9 is 270. And 4 nines are 36. And now all we need to do is just add these numbers up. So 600 plus 270 is 870. 80 plus 36, I'm just going to do a bit of column here. 0 plus 6 is 6. 8 plus 3 is 11, and now I just need to add these two numbers together. 0 plus 6 is 6, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. So the answer is 986. So um, with this method, there's more adding that, that, that takes place, um, and you're not doing only single digit multiplication, which is what you're doing with the column method, um, but it's, it's still fine. But just be very careful with the 30 times 20. That's where things tend to go wrong for a lot of people. So here we've got a number which is in the hundred. So we're going to break this down to a hundred and a 20 and a six and 42. That's a 40 and a two. So here's my column, uh, my grid rather, sorry, 126, 42, 40 times 100, well that's 40 with two zeros on the end. 40 times 20, well four twos are eight, so we need to put those two zeros back in. 40 times six is, well six fours are 24, so six forties are 240. Two times 100 is 200, two twenties are 40, two times six is 12. So there's a lot of adding up here. Um, so 4,000 plus 800 is 4,800 plus the 240, zero, four, zero, carry one, five. So this column comes to 5040, and this one I can probably do in my head, 240, 252. So I need to add 252 to my 5040, so two, nine, two, five. So have a practice using both the column and the grids. See which one you find easier and stick to it.